Hello, welcome back to Joe Plays. Uh, one of the bigger videos that I did uh, earlier last year, oh, sorry, 2021, um, was the ability to stream your PS4 to your PC through remote play. So you could stream with OBS or Streamlabs, anything like that, without a capture card. Uh, it's a great low budget solution. And today I want to show you how to do that with an Xbox because we have the ability to do that from Xbox as well. And this also works with the Xbox One, One S, and the new Series X and Series S systems because the operating system is the same. And to do that, we're gonna jump on the PC. I'm gonna show you the software you need to download that. So let's get to it. And now that we're on the PC, the software we're gonna use is actually called the Xbox Console Companion app. So if you head to the Microsoft store and once you're in the store, you're gonna head to the search bar and look for console companion. You don't need the beta. It's been released. So just grab this free version here and then install, or if you already have it, just hit launch. Once that is up and running, you will see something similar to this. It'll have all of your uh, Xbox news and friends list on the right down here on the left side close to the bottom you're going to see connection and it's going to say connect to your Xbox one from here you may not have any devices listed uh, I do have mine listed on there if you do not go up to the top and click add a device uh, it will actually go out and search your network for any uh, Xbox devices on your network you do have to have this on instant on or turn it on so you can go ahead and turn your Xbox on, then click add a device, it should find it. You will see that this one did find my Series X sitting here, but we're not gonna use that, I'm just gonna use the original one. Once that is here, you can actually turn your device on by clicking on it, and it'll tell you what is actually playing on the device at the time. So you see that it's just at my home screen on the Xbox. You can actually do test streaming. I do recommend that you hardwire your PC and your Xbox to the router. This will work over Wi-Fi, but anytime you can hardwire something, that's always better. So if you can hardwire your Xbox and your PC to the same network, you can actually also test your streaming capabilities from this. So if I can click test streaming and I can click start test. But once that is done, you'll see something like this and it'll tell you what resolutions and what quality you can actually stream at. So because I have a fairly fast router and I'm hardwired both Xbox and the PC, I can actually achieve a very high stream, which is actually good. Now this does not mean the streaming quality that's going to Twitch. This is the stream quality that's coming from your Xbox to your PC. So you're actually gonna see your Xbox gameplay on your PC screen through this application. All right, so I've tested streaming. I'm gonna go back and I'm actually going to click stream and that will open a new streaming window. It's gonna say it's connected and you'll see something similar to this. There are no controllers attached to this PC. Now here is where the Xbox version of no capture card streaming shines above the PS4 version. If you remember on the PS4 version, you have to have a controller connected to your PC and you actually play on your PC. So the great thing about this is you don't have to have a controller attached to the PC you can attach your controller to the Xbox. If your Xbox is hooked up to a second monitor or another TV, you can actually play on that TV or monitor just like you would any other day and not have to worry about any type of input lag or connection problems between your Xbox and your PC. That being said, you do have the ability to play the game remotely on your PC and view everything through this application but if you want to ensure that there's actually zero lag, zero latency, then it's best just to attach the controller directly to your Xbox, just like it always is, and play on a second monitor or TV and let the stream handle itself. I'm not going to attach a controller. I'm just gonna hit continue. My controller is actually attached through Bluetooth to the Xbox One, and I have full control over this. And like I said, I can view this on a second monitor or TV, or I can play through this window. But if I wanna make sure I'm getting the best experience and the best gameplay, then I'm gonna play on a separate TV or monitor 
now that we've connected and we have our stream up and running, I'm just going to start Immortals because it's awesome. Now that Immortals Phoenix Rising is running, I can go up to the top of this window. I'm going to minimize this a little bit just so I can make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to make it as big as I can without taking up too much room because I want this good resolution here. Now we can actually add this to OBS. So I'm going to go to OBS. <clears throat> There's me. I'm going to add a new scene. I will call this Xbox capture. I'm going to add a new source. There are two ways to do this. You can actually do a window capture or a game capture. I have found that for me, the window capture actually runs a little better. The game capture requires your Xbox stream to be in the forefront or it'll start to freeze or glitch out. So I'm just going to do a window capture. I'm going to call this Xbox stream. And mine popped up right away, but if it doesn't on your window, you can choose which window you want to capture and you want to capture the console companion. Leave everything the same. I'm actually going to take the cursor off. So if I'm doing something on my PC, the, ca the cursor won't come across the screen and uh, freak some people out. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to actually just resize this window to where the Xbox stream takes up the full width of the window. So just about right there. And then just to make sure I don't mess this up, I'm going to hit this little lock button. That's going to lock that in place. And now let's add my webcam on top of it. So I'm going to add, actually I actually already have a scene with my webcam on it. So I'm going to add the scene that happens to be scene one. I'm going to click okay. There I am again, and I can shrink this down. And there is my webcam on top of my gameplay. Now, as this is streaming through the console companion on OBS, I'm also viewing the gameplay on a separate monitor. So I have zero lag on this monitor. My controller is attached directly to the Xbox, not through the PC and trying to go through the network. So 100% zero lag, zero latency. And you also see that the audio, if you look down in the uh, side there with the desktop audio, you'll see that that audio is actually playing from the Xbox. And I can also hear it in the headphones that I have attached to it my controller if I had headphones attached to the controller and there you have it as long as your stream is set up you can go over here and hit start streaming or start recording and voila and now once you're done all you have to do is bring your console companion back to the foreground and click stop streaming and then you're done I will show you how to set the quality that we saw so when I did the test stream it showed uh, that I could stream at very high quality, but if you can't, I'll show you how to change that down in the bottom left and go to your settings and go to your Xbox one streaming quality is the quality streaming between your Xbox and your PC. Again, this is not the quality of your Twitch stream that is set in OBS and that is dependent on a whole lot of other factors that we're not going to get into in this video. The streaming quality I have set to very high. If you need to drop that, you can go to high, medium, or low. That's how you set the streaming quality of your Xbox stream. Also, while you're in the streaming window, this quality settings that I showed you before, you can also change those on the fly. Up in the top far right, you can see change quality. If you drop that down, there's high, medium, and low. So you can change that if you're having trouble streaming at a certain quality or resolution. You can change that on the fly as well. Also, as you're streaming through this app, you can use the microphone and the headset that is attached to your PC so instead of having everything attached to the Xbox, the chat and everything is coming through the PC. So when you're streaming through the Xbox console companion app, we'll get there. Your voice chat, your game chat, your party chat should all come through the stream window and also to your desktop audio on OBS. So there's no weird chat cables or anything required to get chat audio or party audio set up through the stream. So again, this is, mind-blowing it's fantastic it's cheap if you have an xbox one which if you're watching this you probably already do the capability is there all you need is a decent pc and decent upload speed to get to twitch but again that's a different video different time and it couldn't be any more simple that's what we like free 
simple probably already have everything you need so there you go and that's it thanks for hanging out i would really do appreciate it but if you like the content i urge you to subscribe if you don't like the content that, that's fine as well but good luck in all your future endeavors if you're getting started streaming get on it what are you waiting for and as always love you all peace